What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be fishing Arroyo City, Texas. Um, we're out here at a different spot. There is a lot of grass in the water and it's kind of windy so I'm going to go ahead and start chunking out some ballyhoo bites. We're going to be using the original, the good stuff, the secret weapon <laughs> in all my videos with the, uh, with the boat here in Arroyo. That's going to be good old Mr. Ballyhoo Bite. Sold in a container, guys. Never sold in plastic bags or anything like that. Why? There's a reason for that because I know that some people have, were asking me about this uh, the other day. Why have I seen Ballyhoo and Bites? Good question. Maybe you should ask the person who made it. But the reason why, why Mr. Ballyhoo puts it in containers is because no leak, no mess. You, can, you t uh, put the lid back on when you're done, throw it back in the cooler. When you get home, freeze it back up, you use it again. That's what I do. And in my case, I, I leave them in the, in the ice chest throughout the day, um, especially when I'm not using it, obviously, or when I'm going to store it away. So that way the, the ice still keeps it cold. And then when I get home, I put it back in the freezer, use it again the next day. Anyways, with that being said, you guys already know Mr. Ballyhoo Bites, this stuff works. We're going to go ahead and put it to the test once again out here in a brand new spot and see if we can get these guys and get some redfish, baby. Yeah. All right, guys, now um, I am going to be using, uh, let's see if I can set up a rod here. What is this, 30 pound test, that'll work. I don't think I have my rod set up, so I'm gonna go ahead and set her up real quick. And a lot of people have been asking me like, hey bro, what's the setup? What kind of reels do you use? What's the setup? Give us a secret. Let me show you, man, let me show you. You're gonna have a POV view right now only because I don't feel like uh, uh, putting up the other cameras yet. It's uh, six o'clock, we out, we out here late guys, super late. But usually the bite picks up around 7.30ish. So we're gonna get here right in prime time and you guys already know what's gonna happen. We're gonna end up fishing the lights because it's gonna get dark on us pretty soon here. We got about three hours of daylight, if that. So, what I'm gonna go ahead and do, just so you guys know what my setup is, we're gonna be using, I'm gonna be using the pen slammer. I usually use the uh, Florida fishing reel from Osprey, and you can buy those reels at uh, SWP in Bronzeville. That's the one of my favorite reels now. I'm gonna be using the, uh, the uh, pen slammer 4500 you do not need a 4500 guys out here in the bay um a 2500 is just fine and i usually use a florida like i said but anyways um i'm going to be using this one for now and i'll be using the florida tonight at the uh, lures with the lures so i'm going to get a swivel here and i don't know what these knots are called so sorry but i'm going to show you how i do it as best i can i run it through like so i kind of make like a little loop kind of like that. I don't know what this knot is called. I've just seen it before. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this line through around and around, around and around the line here. And it's going to go around both of these lines here, guys. And then I'll show you guys in a second what I'm going to do. We're using 15 pound braid. Nothing crazy. And then once I have it like that, I'm going to give her a pull right here and it's going to kind of make that kind of knot there see wow. that 
And then once it makes that knot, you tighten her up a little bit, get some saliva in there, and then pull it the other main line. And that's how I make that little knot there. That's a pretty good strong knot. I use that for when I've caught 150 pounds thing race. So it's a good knot. Let me, now that we have our swivel ready, okay. We're gonna cut off the excess line that we don't need. These are my dad's pliers. So how the hell do you work these things? Okay, got like a little special tool there. All right, now when I'm fishing for redfish, <clears throat> I typically use 20 pound mono, but lately I've been feeling like these bigger guys are a bit more aggressive now and they're cutting me off. So I switched to 30 pound mono. And the mono here, it's very simple. I'm just gonna twist it around a couple of times, like eight or nine times. Put some saliva on there, get it nice and moisty and wet, she said. And then run it through back through the little eye. And there she goes. That's the one to the main line or to the swivel. Now, we're gonna get about, about two and a half feet worth of mono leader here, guys. We're going to uh, tie the weight here to the bottom. Same knot, run, spin it a couple times, run it back through the eye. Give her a little pull there. And that's the weight. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go about almost in the center, slightly over the center. You're gonna go ahead and just pull her like that. What I do is I twist it a couple times and then you're gonna make a regular overhand knot like so. You're gonna make two of them. And this is where your hook is gonna be. And this is your weight in the bottom. That's your hook on top. And that's a swivel up there. Okay, enough of that. And I don't know if I have any proper hooks, guys. I usually use five aught circle hooks. I don't think I have any more left. I do have this one. I wanna say this is a four aught. And that boat is next to me is really annoying because not supposed to be that close to me, brother. 100 feet, man. All right. Maybe he wants to be in the video. I'm going to drink some water right now, guys, because it is hot today, brothers. It is hot. All right. That's probably why I'm so retarded right now. Getting delusional with this heat. Now, like I said, Mr. Valley Who Bites is in a container, guys, and check it out. You close her up when you're done with it. You open her up when you're gonna use it. You grab a good old chunk right there, already pre-marinated by Mr. Ballyhoo Original Oil. And then we close her back up. You know why? Because I can do that. I can do that. Nothing's gonna happen on my boat. No mess, no stains, no smells, nothing. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, the secret weapon to the Ballyhoo Bites from Mr. Ballyhoo is you get his garlic oil from Mr. Ballyhoo. He sells it at RGB Bait Masters and a lot of other bait shops. And you're gonna spray this bait with it. Brand new bottle, guys. There you go, bam, 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 bam. Nice and juicy, look at that. Tell me a fish wouldn't wanna eat that. All right. getting instant bites, but I think it's bait fish or a catfish. Or a small red. This has to be a small red probably. It's already 625. It took us about 15 minutes to find this guy. Hopefully he's a keeper at least. We're trying to get our limit of redfish out here. There it is. Small little guy. 
Might be a keeper though, I don't know. Kind of hard to tell with all this grass on him. Oh, he's a nice guy, I think. Definitely be a keeper. Right there, guys. It took us about 15 minutes to find this guy. We landed on one. This guy's gonna be a good, uh, probably a good 22. I'll measure him right now, just to make sure. Got him right in the corner of the mouth there. That's why I love these circle hooks, man. They do their job. Let's go measure them real quick, guys. But check it out, I got three spots on one side, one spot on the other side. That's a very nice little redfish, healthy guy. Not a big one, but let's try to see if we can get our limit of reds really fast. This guy's at 18, 19, 20. Now nah, he's right at 20, guys, so we'll throw him back. Uh. There's a turtle. First time I see a turtle out here. That was interesting. There's something in the water over there, like a platform or something. I wonder if it's a boat or a person. There's one. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a little bit bigger. Definitely a little bit bigger. Not as, not that big, but again, it's hard to tell on these, ham on these slammers, man. So aggressive. Oh, but he's gonna be a nice little redfish. It's gotta be 21 maybe. Hopefully. Not a big guy either again, but nah. Probably not that big. Yeah, he's not gonna be a big guy. Be a little guy, probably like a maybe 1920. I'm not interested in that guy either. I'll give this spot another maybe 30 minutes and then I'll go to the Super Bowl line. We're not that far from it. I wanna see what's out there. Never fished here though, so. Let's see. We can get another nice red here. Oh, he's on. Oh, that was literally the, the very next cast, guys. I didn't even know he, oh, oh yeah, this guy's a bigger guy. Four shizzle, four shizzle. I didn't even know he was on there. It was literally the next cast. This guy might measure. Let's get the net. Oh yeah. I should measure. Ah, ah, freaking grass. There he is. Woo -hoo. Ah, it's a big one. Not a big one, but you know, a good 24 incher, give or take. Nice, healthy redfish right there on the ballyhoo bites right there baby let's put this guy he's gonna measure right at 20 22 inches gotta make sure the lens doesn't have water on it or oil okay all right guys one redfish coming up Comment down below if you think we're gonna catch one on this one, on this cast right here. Oh, almost had one, guys, almost had one. Oh, 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 something's messing with it. No. Nah. Could be a catfish maybe, a redfish, I don't know. Doesn't feel like a red, not yet at least. 
Could it be a red? I don't know. Definitely messing with it. Just keep in mind, guys, we threw the line in at around 6.10. That's when we got the lines in the water. When I started my first cast, it's now 6.35. And we've uh, got three reds so far. We could have kept two. We could have kept two of them, but I only kept one because one of them was borderline 20. I didn't feel like keeping a, a 20. Oh, I did have a fish on. Freaking catfish. And we've also caught three catfish. Or red. Or, or red maybe. <laughs> Woo, putting in some work on these ballyhoo bites. Yeah, baby. Not a big guy though, but hey, four reds in about five, 10, 15, 20, 25, in 30 minutes, five reds. It's not too shabby. No, no. It's the biggest redfish ever. Check it out, guys. It's the slot seaweed red. You catch these sometimes in the bay, just so you guys know. You know, they're made with a couple of different materials here. You got the straight lines, you got the fuzzy set, uh, area. You know, anytime you feel uh, you're having a bad day, just focus on catching these, man. You, you'll you definitely catch some slotties off this one. <laughs> you stupid seaweed. I don't feel like we're drifting too fast. This isn't the uh, the spot that I, was, that I was hooking up on reds, but I'm gonna start casting from here. It looks like right here, it's about maybe about 14, 15 inches deep, which there could be some reds here, but I noticed that I was catching them where it was about two feet, maybe two to three feet. Oh, wait. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Woo! This is a good one, guys. This is a keeper. Oh, yeah. Give me pull some drag, baby. Pull some drag. Oh, yeah. It's not even seven yet, guys. We haven't even been here for an hour. I'm telling you, baby. This is which the bait you want to use. Especially if you're out in the bay, man. These fish... Love the ballyhoo bites. Redfish, trouts, even black drums. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah. He, he saw the boat. He's like, nope. Let's see if I can get the net out. No, 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 no. Should have had the net ready. Oh, yeah. He's a big guy. Big guy. Let's see if I can walk him to the front here. Oh yeah, I see you boy, I see you. Stupid net. Okay. He's a decent little guy. Good 24 inches, 25 maybe. Oh yeah. Woo, check out that boy. Oh, that's a big boy. But check it out, man. That is a nice red. That's a nice red if I say so myself, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Woo, look at that boy. Let's get our limit real quick. And then maybe we can go live for a little bit. 20, 25 and a half, almost 26. Okay. We got about, check it out, I'm not even lying to you. Look, we got about, we started at 6.10, so we got 5, 10, 15, 15 more minutes so we can have a full hour out here. Spray some good old garlic oil on it, I'm telling you. wonder if I can go live.
What's up? All right, guys, I'm gonna be out here in Arroyo for a little bit. I've actually been here for about, for about an hour now. You might hear a lot of wind and uh, I'm throwing out the famous Mr. Ballyhoo Bites. Who's on here though? Who's on here? What's going on, brothers? What's popping? In a little bit, I'm gonna read. Oh, there's one. There's one. That's a decent one. What are you gonna be like 20, 20? Oh, okay, okay. It's got some, it's got some hump in them. What's up, buddy? Come on, buddy. Got us a little redfish. What's up, Justin? I don't know if you guys can hear well or not, but let me get this redfish in real quick so I can show them to you guys for us in a little bit. See how big he is. Well, he's decent. Not a big guy. Not a big guy, but he's got some power. <laughs> he got a lot of grass with him too. There he is. Check it out, guys. Let me show you what I'm using. I've already got my limit of red. It's only been an hour, guys. Literally been here for an hour. And for my, I got my YouTube fans watching you guys from the GoPro, and I got you guys watching my YouTube fans from Facebook. <laughs> All right, fellas, let's see what we got here. Sorry, guys, I went live on Facebook for a little bit. As soon as I started the live, I threw the line. So just to give you an idea of how long it took me to catch this redfish, and uh, we got him right here, check him out. Real nice looking fella right here, guys. Check it out. Let me see if I can turn this GoPro, this face GoPro, this camera around, hold on. I think I gotta turn on my live well, but check it out. That's what I got in there so far. It's, these are the, the keepers that I kept within the hour. I've caught a couple of other keepers, but these are the ones that I kept right now. And I'm gonna have to turn the pump on in a second here. But got my limit. It's literally been freaking an hour. When you watch my YouTube video, say hello to my YouTube video. Hey, <laughs> you'll see that. It seems like the bite kind of slowed down a bit here. The wind's dying down too, so. If it, if, it, um, if it dies down, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the famous um, Super Bowl line. Oh, I think I got a redfish. No, never mind. Wait, could it be? No. Probably a catfish, right? Oh, it's a redfish. Is it? Nah, it's a catfish. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's gotta be a catfish though, right? Yeah. Oh no, guys, check it out. It's a trout. <laughs> I told you guys, this Ballyhoo Bites catches everything. Felt like a catfish. Relax, bro. Relax, dog. Got you, man. All right, guys, I'm gonna record from my phone because I already turned the mics off. But I only came out here for about We've been out here for a total of two hours. I went live on Facebook, freaking got a redfish on there and all that good stuff. We got our limit of redfish within the first hour using Mr. Valley who buys today. We caught a total of like nine or 10 reds. I'm not too sure. Um, within an hour and a half. Just to kind of show you guys how effective Mr. Valley who bites are when you're out in the bay or anywhere really. I haven't tried them on the surf. That's going to be a good one. I'm going to try them on the surf one day. I'm going to go out there, take my drone and drone the bait out. Uh, with the uh, with the drone and see if I can toss a big piece past the uh, third sandbar You never know might catch a shark <laughs> But anyways came out here for a little bit as you can tell the sun's still out. So It hasn't even got dark yet and we killed it But it was fun coming out here just for a little bit. It is Father's Day tomorrow. So I'm gonna get the boat washed up and Spend some spend some time with the family tomorrow. See what we do and I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, man. I've been watching some of y'all. You're not subscribed. Hit that subscribe button, baby. <laughs>